but a lot of things that we'll do. So we're talking about string, okay? So obviously when I say uh, uh, variable one equal to hello, and you say print var one, okay? Or obviously it'll print var one, but I wanted to show you type, okay? So if I say type of var one, okay? You say class string, right? Mm -hmm. Now we have we know that we can define string using single quote, double quote, okay? Single quote, right? You can yeah. even define using triple quote. Okay. okay. <clears throat> you can also define using double triple quote. Right? Okay. Now, all these, you know, is a valid way to declare string. You can even declare multi line. So, when you do multi line, that's when triple quote is actually used. How are you? Where are you going? When will you be back? Take care. Right? So mm -hmm. now when I say print var1, okay? okay, you get these lines, right? So mm -hmm. for multi-line text, that's why triple bracket is used, okay, mostly. But you can use it for single line as well, right? Okay. All these are valid ways of declaring a string. Next, what is important is the way we read it. And exactly, we have done this in the list. So I don't have to do it again, but I'll show you. If I want to read, uh, let's say here, I want to read first three characters. How will I read first three characters? So I'll say print var1 square bracket, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So as I told you, reading okay, is common irrespective of whichever um um, data, uh, uh, data type you are using. Okay. Okay. Whether you are using string or list or tuple, it doesn't matter. Okay. It is exactly uh, the same way you would do. Okay. So, for example, here, as I said, I want to uh, um, uh, use uh, this variable. Okay. And I can say zero sorry, zero colon, I need three characters. So I'll say zero, one, two. I need zero, one, two. Since I want to know zero, one, two, the last character is one after, isn't it? Yeah. So I have to say three. That's when you get first three characters, right? And if I want to get last three characters, okay, I have to say what, okay? Last three means I need to start from minus three, right? Minus one, minus two, minus three. Minus yes. three and go up to the end, right? So end is minus one. But if I do minus one plus one, it becomes zero, which is a forward indexing. So I leave it blank. Okay. okay. So you can leave blank here as well, right? Zero and ending, we don't have to okay. say. All right? So this is the last three character. If I want last four, you can say last four character here. Okay. Yeah, right? This is the last four character of the string. Yeah. Okay. So this is how you can manage um, or work with um, variables here, string variables. You can iterate through the string, okay? You can iterate to the string, so I can say for i in, okay. Instead of range, I will say var1. This is exactly the way you would, we did in um, list also, or tuple also, yeah. okay. For i in var1, and if you print i, what will you get? You'll get the each character, so h, okay. So let me do this as var2 and call here var2, because var1 will be too big, right? Mm -hmm. So when you say var1, you can see hello, printing each line, right? Okay. You can even do using for i in, okay, range, okay, len of var2. So when I say len of, len of var2, len will give us the number of characters. So we have five characters. Yeah. So this becomes five. Range of five means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
okay i in uh, 0 1 2 3 4 means of course if i print you get 0 1 2 3 4 right but now if i want to print the each of these values okay you get 0 1 2 3 4 so i'll say var 1 var 2 of 0 1 2 3 4 okay so you get hello okay right so this is how you can iterate through string and look at the string i can even check if a character is there or not if say i okay in var 2 okay print i is in the string now i have hello hello do you have i no i is not there's so nothing is printed there's nothing that we have written in else part we're just checking if part right so if we had written else we would have gone we have got something here but okay. since we have said uh, um since we have said uh, here um, uh, uh, i in where i correct so if, if this condition is true that's yeah. when this will be printed yeah but we do not have anything for false condition isn't it mm -hmm. So here you can uh, now we talk about e, right? I can give a small e. So now when you run it, obviously e is in this, so you'll get e is in the string, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah. So this this is how you can check if a character is there or not. What is important here is running different functions or methods, what we call, similar to what we do uh in list i want to see the you know i want to uh, perform various operations so what are different operations on string okay so different operations on strings okay obviously uh, you know let me create a variable called i am fine let's say mm -hmm. so when i say var3 dot these are the operations that you can perform in string Okay. Okay. First is index here. Okay. So index okay takes substring and okay start and end is. Uh, so when you see double underscore, what does it mean? It is a, a private. It is a private. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that means no other function can use it, and it can't be derived. Okay. So mm -hmm. now when I say var three dot index, now let's say I am fine and I'm doing good. Okay, so I say index of M. Okay. okay, so when I say index of M, okay, and I'll print it or let me assign some value. Let's say, you know, uh, variable five equal to variable three dot index of M. So what do you think? We I'll get the output if I print var five. Let's guess first, then we'll run and see. See, index means the position, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So what is the position of M in the entire text here? Uh, two and three. No, so position will always be one, right? Yeah. So it's the first yeah. thing, okay? So position of M is two. No. It depends how many position it takes depends upon how many value you have, right? But M is present at sec or when you, as you say third position, which is two, right? So mm. when you run it, you will get two here. But I want to see after five, what is, is there any? See, I know before zero I have, okay. After the zero I have M here, but I want to see if you have M after fifth position. Five means sixth position, right? Okay, yeah. So now when you run it, so yeah, it says, okay. Oh, one second. Okay, so uh, you have var 5, okay? And see, this is a print, right? If I print 5 here, I was thinking somewhere else. Yeah. This is where we have to give the start value, right? So I'm yeah. saying after 5, where it is. 
Okay. So it says after five, it is found at position 14. So three, zero, three, four, five. Okay. So till here, it will not check. It will check after this. Right. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it won't count space. Eh? It will count for, for space, right? How will you get without counting space 14? Yeah, yes. right. 14, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, this is how you can. Now, you want to find something between 5 and, uh, let's say, 10. 5 and 10. I want to find something between 5 and 10. So, between 5 and 10, okay, it is not there. Right? So, where 5 is not there here. Nothing is printing. Okay? Mm -hmm. But you see this exit code 1. What does that mean? It means there is an error here. Yeah. Okay. So if the value is not present, it will throw error. Okay. Substring not found. Okay. So before you find index, you have to find if that content is there or not. If that value is there or not. You have to check. Okay. If you don't check, your program will end and you'll get error. Okay. Sir. Okay. So how do you check? So you have var three dot okay you, do you see anything that looks like it to, to find whether it's there or not? No. Check. Fine, fine. Yes, exactly. Okay, so it, it is to find. So what I'll do first is I will copy paste the same thing. Okay, and I will print it first. So find is what? Minus one. Okay. So see, find is minus one. So if you get minus one, that means it is not there. Okay, on 10, uh, like 10 position. Okay, so, so what you need to do, you need to check if find not equal to minus one. Okay, then you, you need to print this. Now, you won't get this error. Oops, sorry. This is inside this, right? Sorry. So, you don't get error because find is minus one in this case. If it is minus one, that means it's not going to work. Okay, it become, okay, so it becomes error. It goes to else and it is not printing. If you have some, let's see, if I give 19, then definitely this find will not be minus one and then you get Oops, I have to check here also, right? So it is not minus one and here it's showing error, right? Because it also has to be 19. Then you see, it's finding the position at 14. Saying that data is at 14. Uh, uh, sir, uh, what is this five, in five and 19 which we put? Uh, I didn't get I it. showed, you know, uh, there when I did find. Okay. So, var three dot... Uh, index. What is that you see and tell me? Uh, sub M star. So sub is M and uh, start is. <clears throat> start is from which position you want to look for. Okay. 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 And you have end. T until which position you want to look for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so 5 to 19 in between, if we have M, uh, it will show or else it will show error. And we can find, uh, yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. 
Nimesh? Yes, sir, got it. Yeah. Right. Oh, one second. Okay, Nimesh, you there, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you had any question? No, right? Yes. Sir. Okay. Now we we'll look at uh, there are some set of um, functions here with ease. Okay, and all these are ease functions. Ease space. Okay, it will check if the variable. Okay, or the uh, string value that we are looking at, is it a space or not? Okay, if you, now let's say you get a string and you want to check, is it does it have any value or it is just blank thing? Okay, right. So you can use is space. Is space will be true if it if it has blank space. Okay, it will be false if it doesn't have blank space. Okay. Okay. So yes. all the is functions will return true or false. Okay, yes. true. If that is true, so is space. If is space is true, it will return true. And if it does not have space, it has something else. It will give false. Okay. Okay. Similarly, you have alnum. Alnum stands for. So, so like your uh, your there is space. Mm -hmm. so does that mean that only blank space? No, 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 no. Only blank space. It should be only blank space. Okay. Is it space? Okay. Is it is it a space? No, it has some okay. text also, right? So no, it has to have only space. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so okay, so for example, instead of writing var three, let me do this one, two, one. Let's say like this. This also text, right? And I say is space. Now this is going to be false because it's not only space, right? Now if I remove one, now when I run it, you get true because this is space. Okay. Right. So similarly, you have. Where three dot is alnum. Alnum means it should have only alphabet or numeric. Okay. Okay. Anything else like space, blank, anything else, it will be error. Okay. It should have only space or number. Or no. Uh, number or, <laughs> or uh, alphabet. Alphabet. Yes. So possibilities A to Z, both uppercase and lowercase, and numbers from zero to nine. Okay. Okay. Only yeah. then it will be true. Otherwise, it's going to be false. Okay. Yeah. So is digit will check if it has only digit. Okay. It should have only number, nothing else. Okay. Alphabet will check only if it is alphabet A to Z. That's all. Okay. Capital or small, nothing else. Lowercase will check if it is lowercase or not. In this case, it is not lowercase, right? We have Y, which is uppercase. uppercase so it yeah. will be false here. But if I make I as lowercase, okay, 
yeah. then this is going to be okay. true. Similarly, you have a few more um, is. So alphabet, decimal. Decimal will check for decimal value, whether decimal value or not. Identifier will check if it is ID. Okay, it's a variable. Numeric will check if it has only number. Printable is it something that you can print. Is title. Title is like, is it a title case or not? Okay. Uh, is upper is like, is it upper case or not? So title case means I didn't do it. Yeah. So title case. Okay. Wait. So if you have I am doing good. Right? Now I say is title. Okay. So it says true. Okay. Now here if I make as D, let's say. False. So every first letter of every word should be capital. Okay. So how does it know uh, first word? It is the space. Okay. It says okay. first word. So every letter, okay, of every word, first letter of every word should be capital. capital. And the rest has to be small. Okay. Okay. So if I say this D. And now here, if I add capital G, false. Yes. Got. Okay. So yes. Okay. Yes. So um, we'll stop here. Okay. And I'll 